Welcome, everybody, to another Voice of Nick show. We're doing more of our post Homerica artwork. And um, we have our newest picture sort of generally composed. I think there's a possibility for it to be pretty darn cool if we, uh, if we do it right. So let's kind of move forward with it. We'll see which uh, aspects we can get in. First of all, we're just gonna take all the layers, put them all into one group, because this is just our reference layer. Now we're gonna turn this down. And so let's take a um, a look at what we have for Neoptolemus. I would like to get in as many elements of his design as I can, but it's pretty different the way that he looks, so. We'll see what we're able to do. For this, I think we'll uh, remove his helmet. I'm thinking whether or not I should actually, in this type of art, we usually don't even have any clothes on them, really. Maybe we should, uh, let's see where this takes us. Okay, let me, let me zoom in on my reference here. Let's take off the guides for this because we this isn't going to be our final version of this drawing yet so we don't need to have it be uh, straight lines and stuff So we'll get this kind of thing in there. We gave him a helmet like this in the previous, so I guess we'll kind of replicate that.
Let's sort of make it a little bit more. Maybe more like that. Make it a little closer to his helmet in the black figure version. <laughs> this design concept is very common for um, Greek artwork, which is to say the, it's the character with their helmet sitting on top of their head rather than on their head. And I assume it's sort of just a way, like when you're playing Mass Effect and then you have a helmet on, but in the cutscenes he's not wearing the helmet. Like I assume it's just a way to show their faces in, uh, in the artwork. So the 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 kind of concern is do we put the armor on him or no? We're probably not going to put it on him. Let's see what it would look like if we put something on him here. Oh yeah, what if we just put, interesting, okay. Either way, I would like for him to have a cape. So maybe he's just wearing the chain for his cape. That would be interesting, okay. Yeah, great. And maybe... the eraser tool set. What else do we give him here? This is part of his uh, armor in the original picture, but maybe we could make this into some kind of belt thing. So if we did this like he's wearing some kind of thing like that. And 
And I would say we'll probably not give him the armor. Let's see what it would look like if we... Yeah, that's actually kind of cool. All right, well, we will put the armor on him then. We'll probably make it more ornate in this one, though, because we don't want it to be only as detailed as it is in the black figure version. Sort of let this go further in. Like that maybe. It's too thick. Something like that. Can't get the same effect on this side. And what, maybe if we like, <sighs> yeah, it probably is better to do it like this. It, it gives it more of a consistent effect from our other picture. We'll give them some kind of sleeve things. Maybe this could be an inlay for a pattern or something. Interesting. That would probably be too, uh, too small to see. Welcome, baldy bearded barber to the show. We are doing more of our Greek art stuff. How are you doing today? Okay, his leg is gonna go a lot further back than we drew in the in the uh, underdrawing. Just to have a feeling of sort of forward motion. Like maybe Neoptolemus is so blinded by just aiming for Priam that he doesn't even see Aeneas who's who's running behind him. I'm gonna not do what they did. In the original Greek picture, they actually did like a kind of three quarters angle towards the camera, but it doesn't really fit with the design language that we've been following. So we're gonna do like a 90 degree, you know, typical Greek thing. So, you know, if you measured his, oops, measured his legs, okay, yeah, this one's too short. So let's take this, put it here. Take 
actually we probably have to take part of his whatever this thing is and put it here and then sort of fill in the gaps now he's making a real big step possibly too big of a step so instead of that let's do this We don't need to select anything. We're just going to move him upwards. And we're going to do the opposite. We're going to take this leg, angle it down further. All right, good enough for government work. We'll fix the rest of it later. Now, we wanna get his stuff. So let's turn the cape down a little bit because it's kind of distracting from what we're trying to depict. Now, we get this. Again, this line drawing is not going to be what actually appears in the picture. So we can afford to kind of leave things unresolved or not completely designed. Uh, we just need to get it as far as we need to understand what the picture is going to be. Because, yeah, after we figure out all this stuff, we resolve like where the character's limbs are really going and what everything's going to look like. Um, then we do the final pass. We essentially trace this, but nicely, which is why I'm leaving everything like horribly uh, ragged looking because this is not the time to screw around with like perfectly done lines uh, when we're still designing. Okay, now let's get rid of the cape. Oh, we didn't move the cape to fit his shoulders anymore. Take that. And this is not really gonna be visible really until, maybe we'll have the cape sort of over his shoulder here. Uh, it's not gonna be noticeable until the picture is in because this is going to have a black background where the figures are red or orange on top of the black background so you won't really see the cape now but when everything around it is black you'll definitely see it okay so let's just get rid of all the spots where it intersects our picture and then we will uh merge it into the main layer. So anywhere we get our figures to be taller than they were before is great because we don't, uh, the biggest problem right now is vertical space, vertical real estate. We don't want it to be like there's a bunch of just wasted space at the top. And the taller the figures are, the better it is for us. So. That's good.
there's a really cool design in, in this uh, image that I'm using as a reference for the inside of the shield, where it really kind of depicts the logistics of how the shield uh, is fastened to the, uh, to the arm with this sort of belt system and it's it, this thing is holding it onto the uh, forearm. It's pretty cool. There's always these like tassel things on, on shields. I don't know if I'm gonna really put those into mine, but could just, you know, fill some space, I guess. I like the shape of that sword. It sort of looks like, um, the design for Sting in Peter Jackson's Middle Earth movies. I'm not really clear on how such a blade would fit into a scabbard. Um, if it's like thicker at the top than it is in the middle, how is it fastened into the scabbard? I don't really know, but also it looks cool, so who cares? There's gotta be a way that it would have worked. I, I'm sure there's some kind of like science behind it. Okay, so that's close enough to get Neoptolemus for now. He's sort of in the picture. We'll get rid of our reference for him now. Are there any other features of him that we want to... Oh, you know what? We'll put some uh, leg armor on him to match what we have. And that's a little spot where we could really kind of go a little crazier with it because of the uh, level of detail that's possible with this style of art. So we could screw around with that. I'm not sure what we're going to do with it, but... Maybe we could, like... Yeah, that's kind of cool. Okay, yeah, I like it. Now we're gonna, we're not gonna draw the straps on it yet because the straps won't necessarily fit the other foot. So we're gonna just copy paste this onto the other foot. Then we'll put the straps on both custom style. Let's merge these down. OK. 
good. See, the problem with this line is that it looks like, almost like it's a see-through uh, metal where you can see his leg through it because it looks like the contour of his leg. So let's try and do something about that. Maybe by moving the armor that could fix it. Or we could just change the design. We're probably gonna have to change the, as much as I think it's a cool looking concept, unless we can do something else about it. What if we just get rid of this part? We put something else there. Yeah, that kind of fixes it. It's not as inspired looking as a de of a design, I don't think. This is more elegant, but sometimes you gotta adjust to the situation. So this is good. Maybe we can incorporate some of these elements onto his armor. So for example, let's get rid of this line, which was just a reference that we didn't even follow, to be honest. Uh, maybe this will have something in it too, like that. And what is this design here? So maybe his armor is filled with like, it kind of looks like a face now that like, this is like a nose or something. See what we can do with the shape besides what we have. We'll get rid of the guides for a second. What if we did like a if it was like that? like a there's like a candy cane shape now no I don't like that at all what if we did instead first let's save it I don't like this either or this let's start from scratch here Okay, what if we... I'm just gonna make a, a new version and see what we can come up with. This is the shape we have to work with. 
there's plenty of interesting things we can do with it if only I can decide on something. Maybe this has a, a, a pattern on the breastplate, but it's sort of contoured. This to his belt here, it would be nice to have some kind of design on that. It, um, now if we tried to incorporate the patterns from this original piece, Let's say we had this, we put in this design here, and then maybe something on the inside. Maybe it has like the little squares. can't really see. Well, it does give kind of a jewel encrusted look to it. What if there's like a, a smaller section where the, the swirl thing shows up. No, it's not as striking when it's not. So we'll do this and then maybe if we trace this and put the same shapes on the inside of this. I think that's more approaching what we want. First of all, let's flip this.
Yeah, something like that. I might still work on it. Ultimately, it might be better if we just uh, if we did uh, not put armor on his upper body. It's sort of, it's too distracting of a pattern. That's our original. That's our new one. They're both kind of the same level of distraction. This one may be a little more, but it also doesn't match this either. Uh, so we can work on it, but we have one figure essentially in that level of designing. We don't even necessarily have to do at this stage. So we'll, uh, we'll figure that out. But ladies and gents, that's going to do it for this one. Thank you for joining. The channel is called the voice of Nick. If you want to see more, don't forget to hit the follow button and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Have a great day.